Okay, here we are with the electric chair again. Um, just taking video of the back of the chair and the frame for the torso and how the neck's connected with the spring and everything. I was asked to get pictures of how the motor's hooked up. I'm not going to run it because I don't have the power supply in here right now. So, please bear with my camera skills. I suck as a cameraman. See? Told you. Okay, there's the motor, there's the linkage. It's just run over to the middle section, about what would be the rib cage on the body. Um, and all I used was uh, plumber's tape, just wrapped it around it. Screwed it to the top and bottom, it works fine. Here's the neck piece. Just got it sitting on top of a screw that sticks up about that much so it won't move back and forth that runs up goes up to the neck the neck you can get this spring for like five bucks at home depot um, it's a piece of one inch pvc and if you push hard enough it will fit up inside this spring just push twist do what you got to do and then hose clamp it on and it's pretty solid i was flinging it around trying to pop it off but it wouldn't come off and then the spring inside the head just glued in there gorilla glued it it seems to be pretty solid like i said the head is just great stuff that sprayed it into an old t-shirt wrapped the t-shirt up in a ball and this is what i got the thing was huge and like i said i'm gonna put a, a black cloth on it so that's how that's gonna work the arms same thing with the t-shirt just spread it in there and then rolled the t-shirt and that's how I got that there's PVC as you can see right here inside each one of them so I have rigidity you know this things ain't falling apart and it's jointed it's not the cage for the shoulders all that is chicken wire wrapped around and zip tied to the PVC frame pretty simple down here the hinge on the seat as you can see it's just one good size hinge we uh, use a 2x4 just to keep it up off the seat itself um, screwed it down to the 2x4 and then screwed it into the PVC pipe and it moves pretty good the motor here is just it's not bolted down it's just the big hose clamps you know you can see we uh on that 2x4 in there let's see if i can get zoomed in a little bit more yeah you can't see well you can see that here on this 2x4 we recessed it and the housing for the motor itself uh sits inside of that we added these 2x4s to the outside just to take up space because these hose clamps were huge so and it doesn't move doesn't move at all so uh, the linkage here like I said it's PVC this one this piece right here you can go to Home Depot and all it is is a uh, uh, straight uh, aluminum the aluminum bar and we bent it ourselves to where we wanted it in the vise so that's pretty much how this thing works it's real simple the do, putting the motor this motor on I had a drill motor hooked up to it before but I didn't like the way it worked it actually was not in my opinion wasn't going to be dependable so this will be a lot more dependable it doesn't rattle the chair as much and it's a lot smoother than the drill was so like I said it's uh oh all this great stuff in here too that's for the stomach on the other side to even out the the top of the chest up there and the stomach just so it's more evenly proportioned when the clothes are on the dummy so yep that's it that's the mechanics of the chair um yeah well i'll post another one up a little bit later on as uh i get him dressed there's not much more left to do just put like a pendleton jacket on him and cover the head and then you know once we get the maze built we get his uh little room done or it's actually gonna be like a prison cell sort of thing um then uh we'll get uh, videos and all that we're gonna be running the haunted house or the haunted house in maze two nights this year so it should be good times 
you know, with any luck, we'll be able to accomplish everything we're setting out to do. As long as uh, we keep at it, I think we will. If not, crap happens. All right, guys, have a good one.